Hi all, welcome back. Today I am making galauti kebab at home. This is so juicy, so soft and melt in mouth and it's quite easy to make. So let's start. I am taking around 450 grams of mutton mince and I am adding some pieces of fat as well. Now into this I am adding some salt. Adding a spoon of garlic paste and also a spoon of ginger paste. Now instead of raw papaya paste, I am going to add vinegar. So what this does is this activates the enzyme in the meat and this enables it to cook faster. Adding a half spoon of turmeric powder. Now mix everything very well. What I am going to do is I am going to run this into a mixer or a food processor so that the fat is nicely mixed with the mince. Now everything is well combined. I let it rest and marinate for some time. So while this is marinating, let's prepare the dry spice powder and for this I am taking around 5 cardamom pods, 5 cinnamon sticks, this is jeffel and javitri and a spoon of coriander seed, a spoon of cumin seed, 5 red chilies, 3 cloves. Now I am going to grind this to make a fine smooth powder. If you don't have jeffel and javitri, you can skip it. Now the spice mix is ready. Let's prepare the wet masala. For this I have soaked around 15 cashews and I have already fried 2 onions until they are crispy and brown. Now I am going to add this into a grinder. This gives a smoky flavor to the kebab. And cashews add the softness. Also adding 1 spoon of milk cream. I have strained the cream from the milk and adding this to the mixture. Adding few strands of saffron for extra flavor and richness. Now grind everything very nicely. It looks like this. Now I'm going to add the wet paste along with the spice mix into the mince and give it a good mix. Galauti kebab means melt in mouth or galne wala. So this kebab is really bursting with flavor and it just melts in mouth. It is so juicy. Definitely worth a try. Now this is my version of the Nawabi kebabs. Do try it. I am sure you will love it. And this is going to be an instant hit in the family. Now after mixing the spices and the masala, cover it and let it marinate nicely for around 3 to 4 hours. Now after it has marinated nicely, if you want you can add a spoon of kevda water or rose essence or you can skip this part. Now I am going to make a hole in the center and here I have peeled an onion and I am going to take out a single slice of onion. I am going to remove a single layer of the onion this way. Like this and I am going to make a cup sort of thing with the peels and here I'm going to place it in the center of the mince and I'm going to place a hot burning coal on top of it now I'm, as soon as I pour some oil over it as soon as I drizzle some oil smoke will start to come out and immediately I'm going to cover the lid and let the kebab absorb all of the smoke After 10 minutes, I'm going to throw this coal away. And now I'm going to take a small walnut size of meat, mince in my hand, and make a patty of it and make kebabs. Now fry it in some hot oil or ghee. Turn and cook it, fry the other side as well. Now the flame is on medium to high and oil is quite hot as well. Now fry it nicely until it is golden and crisp. Serve it along with ghee rice or chapati with some chutney and mayonnaise. You can serve it as an accompaniment or a starter. Do try it and please consider subscribing to my channel if you like the video. Thank you for watching this video. Bye guys. Bye.